The vision for Dragon Age Inquisition is to create an RPG the likes of which no one's seen before. That involves, I think, uh, better player interaction, choices that matter, amazing visuals, uh, a new level of immersion that can only be achieved with the hardware and software we have now. We're combining a vast world and a tight Bioware-style story into something that really is going to take role-playing games to the next level. We see the next generation of Bioware RPGs being all about freedom for the player. We want you to be able to take control, and Inquisition is the first step on that journey. So Thetis is a massive setting. It's just huge and varied with all different sorts of nations, rich, lush jungles, barren wastelands, beautiful forests, uh, mountaintops. All those are available now. You can explore the world. The art's relevant. You can look under every little rock, every little bush, and find something new. There's a surprise around every corner. From the very opening moments of Dragon Age Inquisition, this is a world on the edge. The world has essentially undergone this event where the veil, the thing that keeps the demons out, to put it in simple terms, has torn us under. And they're basically laying waste to the place. And at the same time, uh, an Inquisitor is created. You become the Inquisitor and you begin your uh, ruthless pursuit of the villain who created this Fade Terror. Creating the, the Inquisitor himself, it's really about creating your character and being the person that you want to be. Be that an elf or a dwarf or a human, mage, rogue, warrior. So you've really got a lot of choices about how you create this character and how you play the character throughout the course of the game. This is the first time that we've created a main character where you are not only at the head of an organization, but you actually seize and control that power directly. As the Inquisitor, you have uh, rights and powers that other citizens don't have, and you can use those to great effect. At the same time, you also have to make decisions, moral decisions, about what's going to happen. Do you want to save a village from burning, or do you want that village to burn down? Uh, each may have repercussions to the Inquisition that you as the player will decide what suits you best. As Inquisitor, you actually have numerous people at your disposal. We call them agents. The nice thing about having agents working for you, instead of you being the agent of someone else, is that you can send them out to tackle missions. It's a really exciting time in the project because a lot of hard work is finally paying off. Uh, the fruits of a lot of labor are finally blooming, and it's nice to know that we're gonna to have to share that with fans very soon.